Okay, so we're gonna film somewhere else today because my house is literally being overthrown by freaking ants. <laughs> hey everyone, so today I am filming in a totally different location. I am filming in front of my dresser because my bathroom is being overthrown by ants. Again, has been for probably the last like four weeks, but I found some borax and some sugar. So hopefully they'll be gone soon. For those of you that are new, my name is Joy L, and today we are going to be talking about how to be confident with your type 4 hair, and I'll be discussing how I found my confidence with my type 4 hair. But before we get started, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, and please click that subscribe button down below. Also, don't forget to click that notification bell so you know every single time I upload, and you know support is greatly appreciated. So in today's video, I'm going to be completely blunt. I'm going to be completely honest. You guys already know, if you, know, if you follow my channel, you already know, I try to keep things 100% real, <laughs> sometimes 200% real. And today's video is no exception. Just FYI, uh, I may drop a few words, bad words here and there. They will be bleeped out, but if you guys are just not into that kind of video or it's just not your thing, just click off. But I'm not going to sugarcoat anything in today's video. I've seen way too many videos that do that and I am not going to. So with that said, let's go ahead and get started. First things first, there is absolutely no magic way of gaining confidence. It's something that you have to just discover deep down inside of yourself. You need to literally, so obviously the best way to explain how, I, how to gain confidence with your type 4 hair is to explain kind of how I've done it. And honestly, it wasn't by using a special product. It wasn't by styling my hair a certain way. It wasn't by dyeing it. It wasn't, you know, it was, it was nothing like that. There was no product. I literally, I literally cut my freaking hair off and I looked myself in the eye. So I was standing in front of my mirror. I looked myself in the eye and I said, this is who you are. And either you're going to deal with it or you can revert back to a very unhealthy lifestyle, which was applying a chemical relaxer to my freaking hair, burning my scalp, uh, just damaging myself. And you know, that was, that was my ultimatum. It was either today you're going to make a change and you're either going to learn to love yourself or you can continue to go down the same path that you've been going down, which was not of self love, which was not of self acceptance. And I can tell you right now, stop trying to change your curl pattern. It is what it is. <laughs> Deal with it. <laughs> That's how you were born. And there's nothing wrong with it. I don't care what anybody else has to say about it. I don't care if someone says, ew, it's gross, or I'm not attracted to it, or, you know, it looks too this or too that, or it's not, it's not something I would want. Who gives a f what anybody else thinks or what they want? It's not theirs. They know nothing about it. They're probably ignorant and have absolutely zero idea of any of the history of it. Um, <laughs> it's relevance to, to you and your family, your history, whatever. Who cares? Who cares? Who f cares? I don't care if it's somebody who's white, black, Asian, Mexican. Who f cares? It's not their hair. And instead of going, oh, woe is me, or I'll try and do something about it, or, you know, going home and weeping, literally, you look that person in the eye, you flip them off, and enjoy the rest of your day. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, don't let people control you to that extent. I've been there. Trust me. I've been there. I don't, and now, like, like for example, I've had men tell me, oh, I don't usually date girls with your kind of hair, or I'm not attracted to that hairstyle. <laughs> them, who cares? <laughs> They're freaking shallow and ignorant, and honestly, not somebody I'd want to be around. They're disgusting. Literally, they're disgusting. If you have to call them disgusting to feel better about yourself, fucking do it. I am tired of walking on eggshells to make other people feel comfortable with the space that my hair takes up, or with the way that my hair looks, or the way that I look. I'm tired of it, quite frankly, and you should be too. If you're not confident about it, nobody else will be. Own it, and other people will be okay with it. I'm, I'm dead serious. These women who are like, I use relaxers because no one accepts my natural hair. Why would you expect them to accept it if you won't accept it? I hate that. I hate that. I get it. I totally, I totally get it. But about the whole, you know, there's a loss of job opportunities. There's a loss of having a specific partner or um, being targeted, that sort of thing. I totally get it. I do. Trust me. But I'm going to let you know right now. <laughs> Certain things come with struggle. And I'll tell you right now, if you can't accept your self-worth, nobody else will. Nobody else will. Nobody else will. You feeling confident about it will let other people feel confident about it. 
And I'll tell you right now, they must not hate it that much because they're appropriating the crap out of the out of black culture. So fucking own it. It's yours. You started it. You had it. You were born with it first. And you know that's how I feel about my hair. You know what? You you, you know. Like, if somebody goes, ew, it's ugly, like, actually, it's not. I love my hair because of A, B, or C. It's unique. It's mine. I can style it 50 different ways if I freaking want to. You know, stop finding excuses to allow other people to tell you that something is not good enough. Because it is, okay? Like, literally, turn around, look them in the eye, and be like, you're freaking ignorant. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> you really are. Or just walk away, because honestly, there's... I don't have enough energy in my lifetime to, to educate every single person. Don't touch my hair. Don't insult my hair. Don't insult the community of people that have this hair. And stop thinking that just because your hair is straight, it's better than mine. Because guess what, flathead Felicia? No one cares about your hair either. So yeah, uh, confident. Let's talk about confidence in dealing with shrinkage with type 4 hair. I know a lot of women are like, I hate my shrinkage, I feel like it ruins my hair, or I love my natural hair but I hate my shrinkage. Guess what? Your natural hair and shrinkage are all one package and you better can own it. I can tell you right now, I'm, I deal with shrinkage a lot. Right now I have gel in my hair so my hair is like super defined but like I pick my hair out everything. My hair was literally like twice as long this morning. <laughs> and shrinkage is a sign of healthy hair. Own it. Own your shrinkage. Own it. You're gonna be so much happier. Trust me. And stop trying to fight it all the time. Stop trying to. I mean, you can't. You can stretch it if you want to try a different style. That's totally different. But as for like trying to completely get rid of it, shrinkage is part of your type four hair, and it's something that that and that's what makes our hair unique. It's like, hey, guess what? It's actually like five inches long. I don't. It's hard because I don't really know what all to say, or you know, people are like, you're so confident with your type 4 hair, you know, how do you do it? You just own it, like, I've said it before and I'll say it again, how can you hate something that's naturally you? This is me, so I, I feel like if I look in the mirror and I'm like, I hate my natural hair, I think it's ugly, I'm putting myself down, I'm really like chipping at, at pieces of myself, and that's honestly how you should think of it. Because guess what, type 4 hair is not ugly at all. I would rather have this beautiful cloud of hair instead of my straight, uh, obviously damaged hair. And I already know that if I constantly am putting my hair down and I don't accept my hair, nobody else is. Nobody else is. They're just not. Because it's like, if I don't see anything good in it, why would anybody else see anything good in it? Right? Stop waiting for other people to accept it before you should. You should accept it way before anybody else will. Anybody, 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 anybody. I'm tired of black women or biracial black women constantly pulling down their self-worth because of something they're naturally born as. Who cares what somebody else thinks, okay? <laughs> I'm dead serious. I mean, we can go into all these issues of colorism and racism and discrimination. I totally get that. I totally get that these are all, what we deal with now are all symptoms of those kinds of treatments. But to live your best life, to be a happier version of yourself, we have to find our own sense of self-worth because obviously the rest of the world isn't gonna do that for us. That's why the natural hair movement is such a big deal. We are starting to realize all that we are capable of, all the things that make us unique and make us stand out. And there's and there's nothing more beautiful than that. Truly, truly. Stop bending to other people's expectations of what they think you should be or what you should look like or how you should act. There is not one standard of beauty in this world. A lot of people forget that, <laughs> clearly, but there's not. Trust me, if they didn't think you were beautiful, they wouldn't be appropriating you every single day. My type 4 hair ladies, you were literally born with a crown on your head. Literally. 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 Every, every style choice, all of today's beauty standards were based off of you. 
off of you. And if you haven't heard of the most recent scandal, these white women trying to portray themselves as black biracial women, even though it's rage inducing, it's like, I'm a little bit flattered because it's like, yeah, we are gorgeous. You should want to be like us. You should. We're awesome and we're beautiful and we're obviously more unique than anything you've ever seen. So yeah, be 100% unapologetically you. I want you to literally go look at yourself in the mirror right now. I want you to rub your fingers all the way down to your scalp, all through your hair. I want you to feel every little kink, every little coil, and I want you to realize that you have the most unique hair type on the face of this planet. It is worthy of all admiration, and just because someone else doesn't notice your worth doesn't mean you don't have any, okay? Trust me, there is a huge sense of relief when you finally just get to be you. Just get to be you, regardless of what other people think. Regardless. And if you, if you don't have anywhere to go, if you don't feel like you have people to turn to, please join my Natural Hair Type 4 group. It's always linked in the description. I will link it in a pinned comment down below as well. Please join my group. We are here to support you. We are here to build you up and provide even if you don't have the confidence in yourself, we will help get you there. I promise we will answer all of your questions. We are, we're here for you, okay? We think you're beautiful. I'm not crying, I swear. Basically, you are supported and appreciated in that group. So yeah, uh, I apologize to those who thought that they were gonna be getting a, you know, very direct, you know, one, two, three, four on how to gain confidence. Like I said, there is no magic way. You literally just have to look at yourself and choose to be proud of yourself and to accept yourself as you are and not apologize for it, point blank. But yeah, with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please don't forget to click that subscribe button down below and I'll see you in the next one.